All right, so this is a little tip video on uh, why when I tow vehicles, I don't like to use the towing eye bolt. That comes with most of your cars nowadays for the mere reason of its integrity. Um, I was trained and taught how to tow vehicles with uh, J-hook uh, type tow equipment from the undercarriage of the vehicle, which I believe is safer attaching to a stronger part of the vehicle when you're pulling it up that more or less can't bend or won't bend and break when you're pulling them up on the truck. Um, there was a warning about these things on the earlier BMWs of uh, failure when you tried to pull them up on a tow truck. And I'm going to show you why. And I have a perfect example right here. This is the uh, aluminum bumper reinforcer off of a Lexus IS250. All right, this is the front of it actually. Um, I believe it's right side up. All right, so this right here, you know, obviously minusing the plastic, there would be a pop out cover that comes out of the plastic bumper and then you stick the little bolt in there and you screw it into these threads right here. Well, those threads are nothing more than just a tabbed insert on the back. That's great, you know, they got a little bit better. That's aluminum though. Aluminum threads can strip. It happens more than steel. I would have liked to see this reinforced with steel. Any which way, that's beside the point, because this is, from my opinion, not necessarily the weakest link, although it has become an issue. All right. Um, this right here, these three little bolts. These are actually pressing rivets. Any which way, I've got a piece on the other side that actually is part of the, part of the actual frame of the vehicle that shows. This vehicle was in a minor collision. This entire piece just completely fell off. It was not held on at all. These are riveted inserts or uh, thread inserts that go inside this thing here. And this is actually welded to the uh, subframe of the vehicle. As you can see, the welds failed. Um, but when you're putting pull stresses on this stuff, especially going up onto a truck, you're pulling against, was it one, two, supposed to be four, Is there four or is there just three? Oh, there's three bolts and supposed to be a nut on the outside. There's a, a reverse bolt coming through and this one's missing the nut. Any which way, there's just these three bolts that are uh, spreading your load stress on each side of this. And you're pulling from the left side actually more than you're pulling anywhere else. So you're putting more of the stress on that side. Any which way, round threaded inserts on the other side of this, and in this case, they pulled right through um, on that side. And this one here, the entire block had ripped off. When you're tugging on this thing, oh, they put one on this side too, so you can pull from other side, right or left. Well, any which way, when you're tugging on this thing with a winch cable and pulling a car that roughly weighs three, 4,000 pounds up on the truck, if it's an SUV, it's even more, I wouldn't trust that to hold. And when you're pulling it up and that fails, which has happened in the past to some people, um, car goes flying off the truck. So all you people out there that have these nice cars that believe that everything the manufacturer tells you in the owner's manual is correct, and that the manufacturer knows what they're doing when it comes to towing, yes, they design these things with thoughts in mind. They're not on the other end of it actually doing the towing, though. Uh, manufacturer recommends to use certain things, recommends a flatbed, recommends the eye bolt, recommends a lot of things. That's a recommendation. It's not a requirement. Um, some vehicles are actually, in the, in, the, in the case of this one, it is actually towed by a wheel lift instead. And it's, uh, in the hindsight, it's probably safer because you're only touching the wheels of the car and you're picking the vehicle up by the wheels that's sitting on the truck versus having to pull it by a cable or some other means. So anyway, it was just my thought. I've been doing, uh, been driving a tow truck for about the part of the last uh, nine, ten years, and uh, I to this day still don't trust these eye bolts enough that I'd want to use them. And uh, I guess with good reason, as you can see in the case of this whole thing. And if you watch other videos on YouTube of guys trying to pull their cars out of snow drifts and stuff like that through these little holes, and just watch closely how they rip the entire back end of the vehicle off. This thing failed at its structural integral points, which is actually its weakest point. Uh, it wasn't designed to be pulled on.
Let's just put it that way. It was designed to be a reinforcer if you got into a crash, not for pulling, uh, to use it for tow or to tug or whatever. It wasn't really designed for that. The ultimate safety is on these for federal safety uh, guidelines is it's a reinforcer. It's a crash bar in a sense. So, hey, which way? That's my thought on the tow eye bolt system. Please uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.